everybody, it's uh, Retro Kid of Retro Kid Reviews. I got a couple updates uh, before going into this uh, video. Um, for those who watch my AJKW uh, wrestling videos, um, you may have noticed I brought a new uh, submachine gun to the mist, uh, a light gun essentially, uh, for my character JDX. Uh, the problem is, um, due to uh, playing uh, 2K16 with my friends, and getting really angry at one point, I broke uh, one of the uh, the newer ones. It was like a scorpion kind of thing uh, for any COD guys out there. Uh, so when I was upstate over the weekend, I kind of got a new one. Uh, hopefully, it'll work well for the, the prom our fake promotion. Um, I got this. So um, again, just want to point that out. Uh, all I know is that it does a ejection mag kind of thing. It simulates uh, shelling. Uh, it's from the Adventure line, I think, with the, it's a, a Walmart light gun, you see it all the time. And I just dropped one. <laughs> so yeah, uh, just quick preview in case you want to see it. Yeah, and even like has the, that's where the ejects and everything, but you're not here for that. You're here for the big one. And I guess another history lesson when it comes to this blaster. Uh, it's predecessor, the Retaliator. If you already guessed the title and where this is going, yeah. Uh, I lost it uh, due to the internals were just dying on me after five and a half years. And the slide was just not really <laughs> to its favor. It just really wasn't. And, um, well, there's really no getting around it. I got the Recon Mark II. And uh, the more important question when it comes to it is why do I not have the mag on the slide Right now, um, for anyone who was reading uh, or watching everything, watching early reviews like Bobolos, uh, Drax, and pretty much every nerfer ever, who already had early copies of the Modulus uh, Mark, Mark II uh, Recon, uh, mostly because um, they had a problem with the mag. Uh, for some reason, they couldn't like accept old school 18s and um, clear mags, uh, 18s as well. Like, if you, it, it can only accept, like, uh, 35s and, uh, I think, 18s and 12s, and, of course, 6 max. So, um, quick dry fire, before I get to the blaster itself. The more important issue, now that it's been months since this thing's been out, did Hasbro finally fix this issue once and for all? I think it did. Now keep in mind, this is probably a very later down the road copy that I got that Nerf pretty much addressed the situation and everything. Uh, I'm going to keep as much of the stock of combos that I have for it on this blaster so I can dry fire around and, you know, get a feel for the grip of the blaster. Uh, let's start at the handguard. Um, I was uh, also very sketchy on it as well. I was a little worried about the handguard, mainly because of the gripping um, now in my hand. Uh, the fear is a little off. It's not that big a deal as I thought it was. What's really pissing me off a little is the front end with the stock uh, uh, barrel and front end. It's like there's really no room for me to like really grip it with the stock uh, parts. It's almost like it's making me want to get more like barrels from the modulus line. I mean, it's from the modulus line. It makes sense that it's baiting you to get more stuff. Kind of like... I guess Commer Toys nowadays wants to bait you to get more like DX stuff for um uh the the rider belts or whatever. Yeah. And they said I couldn't bring uh, Tokusatsu uh toy line stuff into this uh nerf review. Yeah. So no whatever. Uh anyway, uh for combos, uh this is kinda a cool thing I could run a stock thing stock worm to uh if I wanted to CQC it. Um obviously this is the barrel break uh, ammo holder. Probably a good uh I guess accessory that came out of the barrel break. I do actually have it. I got it upstate from my cousin's place. Uh, he's not really using it anymore. Uh, the old school uh, point break. I've always had this since. Jesus, as long as as long as I can remember. Um, I also got um, new ish uh, blasters. Well, not really ish. Um, more like combos. I got the uh, Spec Ops uh, stuff from the. Yeah, well, here's the uh, new point break. Uh, pinpoint shot. Uh, it keeps saying point break. Uh, original movie's better. Don't watch the remake. Uh, yeah, so here's the new site. 
Like, it's pretty much the same. Uh, I'm going to go put the combos on it. Um, I did fire it with the stock darts. I'm not going to, at the time of this video, I'm not really going to do it. Uh, because reasons. And I will probably dry, dry fire it as a probably ending part of the video, hopefully. Um, let's see. The slide. I actually really enjoy the, the, the Recar Mark II slide because there's enough space where, where my finger's at. There's enough space to, like, just on my finger alone, like, get it out and, like, get it ready for the next, like, dart or the next mag or mag change, like, within seconds. I mean, it's from the recon lines, from its predecessors, the Retaliator. It's pretty much simple at this point not to ruin your uh, <clears throat> blaster stock. I don't know how it's going to be when I ride this uh, modded, because eventually, probably months or years down the road, I am definitely going to mod this. <laughs> probably put uh, 3D printed parts and maybe um, a pump attachment, because I really want to do those. I've been seeing those online. Uh, card to whenever Borbolo got his. Uh, the thing is, I have only the um, original Retaliator barrel left, and I think the stock. <laughs> yeah, the main body is just completely gone. I couldn't scrap those parts if I wanted to. And I wanted to keep the barrel because, as you can see, I did the whole uh, uh, AK kind of look with it. And here's your problem. Uh, the colors are misshapen. And another thing I noticed uh, when, you know, we're like going over the blaster myself and just getting a feel for the combos, that it doesn't have the original um, uh, circle point that a lot of old uh, end strike attachments had so that it could lock in pretty well and I can only understand why they did it uh, mainly for this uh, particular barrel it's from the spec ops line it's like the closest thing they got to a suppressor but if you take apart like the stock and everything like everyone's probably gonna do it looks no joke like a tech nine uh, I'm not efficient with that kind of uh, referencing with that kind of submachine gun but I know for a fact that this looks like a tech nine it just does I'm, my camera can't get the full view of it, but believe me, it looks it. <laughs> um, overall, with the blasters on looks and combos, I could go all day just using every single combo in my friggin' arsenal, and I really don't want to for the sake of this video. So I'm going to cut the camera, and I'm going to get to a firing demo on... I want to say just on this attachment alone, because this probably will get the most view from my camera. So with that, I'll be right back with a firing demo to see if it will even accept the full 18, because I don't know if, except the first six shots, I don't know about, like, the full mag, so, be back in a bit. Okay, just want to get one last look on the uh, jam door, uh, now looking at it, uh, jam door is actually pretty thick, it's actually not that bad, uh, I'll get more on the, uh, final looks on the cosmetics in a minute, um, yeah, I do have, a uh, last gen, um, uh, streamlines. I'm probably not going to use it for the purposes of the mag. Uh, the mag is fully loaded. If you can see internally, there are going to be some uh, modulus uh, streamlines. And if you're hearing some coughing, that's my family. <laughs> so, my bad in advance. First shot. Oh, another thing about the modulus uh, recall mark 2. It doesn't have slam fire. It's basically very old school uh, re uh, Murph back in the day. So, this is going to take a while. Sticky. Uh, Star Wars, uh, dart, I think. Uh, I think I'm going gangster with this GoPro, my bad. Uh, my thoughts on the, uh, uh, barrel extension here is actually very nice. It's, well, aside from the crappy dart, not that much barrel drag. It's the right amount. Uh, the problem I'm having is that the slide, as you've been seeing, is, uh, having a slight decrease. Um, but it's not that bad stock. I don't know what mod is, so. Another modulus. 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 Regular. Uh, I think that's half of the clip done. Yeah. I think we're almost done with the mag. Pretty sure, tactically speaking, there is no way in hell I can load this. Whoa, I think I can. Hang on. 
<laughs> and that is uh, my firing demo, so I'll be right back with my overalls. Okay, so I just want to point out that, yeah, I did actually get a shot uh, from the uh, barrel brake extension into the slide of the Recon Mark II and actually fired actually pretty flawlessly. Uh, with that said, should you do it uh, as kind of like a last-ditch move if you don't have any mags? Um, after that, um, no, that's a lot of um, adding of time. If you're running and gunning in a war, uh, that's a lot of time you're adding to yourself. So you better you better have some like decent cover or a really good tree if you're outdoors. Um, after that, um, it's still a recon. There's really nothing else uh, majorly wrong other than the mag problems when this first came out with the Mark II. Uh, other than that, um, it's still performing pretty much on par. Um, I'm stuck on the pistol mode uh, aside from the barrel extension, uh, but for my camera, it pr it could get it pretty well got a good look at me on it um shouldering it with any um stocks you have worker 22 uh p max because i know they're out there and i really want to get them um yeah you can lock and rock and roll with this um uh kind of setup pretty good i mean there have been a plethora of like taobao uh chinese uh, 3d printed um uh accessories that would make definitely make the the modulus and pretty much every uh last gen not really last gen. Uh, current gen and last gen um, uh, blasters look really good, and I really want to try to get a worker mag. Because as of this recording, I just realized both the worker mags and the stocks you can get readily available on Amazon. So that is a birthday wish list on my end. <laughs> um, so uh, for twenty four dollars, which was retailed at the uh, Walmart I was at, uh, it's worth it. The paranoia on the whole mag thing is over. It accepted the eighteen just fine and. No, 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 uh, mag drop, no nothing. It's pretty secure. It's the, uh, old school recon I've grown to know and love, uh, for the betterment of my entire team to now a young adulthood. So, um, the handguard, like I said early on before the firing demo, uh, I was, I was more sketchy on, uh, more in particular with the skeletal, uh, look of the hand, uh, guard itself, uh, the grip. And, um, I, I don't like it, <laughs> honestly, um, I miss the old pistol grip that this had, um, I'm pretty sure the old, the, the now, um, Mega Blasters have that, uh, pistol gripping. Um, if I had a mod of cosmetics, I would totally do, uh, ma uh make, like, can cannibalize, um, Mega's, uh, gripping and put it, to slap it onto this, because I'm almost pretty sure it'll do an okay job, I'm more worried later down the road if um it's a uh, stock attacker i mean sling point can actually sling um probably i'll get to that uh for later stuff uh for what i want to do like versus uh videos with myself and um uh, red hood or anything nerf related or uh maybe a trouble terror trouble in terrorist town um video with my friends yes i am very much aware of sam and eagle shell and they do do that card definitely to those game types because Man, I want to do that someday. Um, having all said that, should you buy the Recon Mark II? Um, I have had a very long-winded love-hate relationship with this blaster. And I think I'm back in the love. So if you know the blaster like me, if you pretty much know it like a book, uh, the pros, obviously the slide is the best pro so far on my end. I've seen this slide crashed and burned so many times on the recon and the retaliator side this is probably the best slide they've had bar none um like the spacing is just dead on perfect like i can get the inner like the hidden screw that they used to have for so many years like that if i had to like mod it today and get the ars out and everything just fine um i'm definitely keeping the uh, one of my oldest problems i've had with um the, re the retaliator and uh, the, the uh, recon cap is that I always kept it off because I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm definitely keeping it for uh, stronger springs and uh, reinforcement for um, orange mob work stuff, so I'm definitely keeping the cap. I've definitely learned my lesson. Uh, Regreasing, and uh, again, I could go all day about uh, top 10 out of 10 mods you guys should definitely do. Pump grip, without a shadow of a doubt, get a freaking pump grip for this thing. Um, but for the colors, try to get, like, a Retaliator barrel from the DX line, or some sort of repaint from, I don't know, the Recon that is in the white, or you can 
again, if you don't want to pour your back hatch, paint it yourself, get some carding on, and um, any like paint job you could do with it, because I would pony up the money to get the DX barrel, uh, because I'm lazy and I don't want to paint. <laughs> um, I know there's people in the mining community that do want to paint and actually turn this into like a really well customized uh, blaster, and by all accounts, do it. This is worth the price point, this is worth the combinations you could do. Uh, I will probably get later down the road modulus uh, uh, accessories because once I got this, I'm like, oh god, I got addicted. Uh, before filming this and the firing demo, I was just going for hours, um, just vegging out, nerfing wise, um, just doing combos for days of this. It's kind of like the nerf equivalent of vegging out, essentially. So, um, with my rambling out of the way, I guess, uh, this is Retrocator Retrocator Reviews. Finally having an old friend back in the house. Uh, the Recon Mark II. Happy that it's performing well. I'm more very much happy that the MAG Paranoia 2016 or 2015 of the 18 uh, ex not accepting it problem has been uh, way over on my copy. I don't know on your end uh, if it's still a thing. If it is, please let me know in the comments down below what you think of my opinions, reviews, and my firing demo on this blaster. And, um, so yeah, until next time, thank you, please, please subscribe, and, um, uh, I used to have an old nerf saying, it's been a long time since I've done nerf reviews, uh, with a shot out of the way, I'm out, later. <sighs> Welcome back, old friend. So what the hell am I gonna do with all this nerf now? Oh yeah, combos videos. Uh, give me a like if you want a combos video with this. And, uh... Where the hell is Eftricon? Uh, I don't know. Seriously, will you been demon hunting again? Uh, thank you for subscribing. Let's see that old guy again. No, seriously, it's great.